Hi, it's Eric here with Cat Avenue, and today I wanted to go through a few more things that will be available in 2021, uh, which is due to release late September. Uh, it's only a few weeks away. So just a quick reminder for those upgrading or purchasing 2021, uh, we'll receive the plus version at no additional cost. The plus version includes, uh, you'll have to look at my previous video, but it includes the SOLIDWORKS capability and also PDF to drawing capability as well, along with the EasyArch, the 3D PDF, and the iCAD library. Uh, so I'll leave a link to the page about the plus version at the bottom of this video. So to get right into it, I'm working with this uh, vessel and want to, I want to demonstrate a few things uh, using that. So up here in the top menu, um, you'll see uh, a pull down here, which allows you to toggle between different workspaces. So if you're a beginner, the new version will have the uh, ribbon for that. It will also have a 2D only ribbon. The CAD Classic, which is for people that uh, like the just the toolbars and no ribbon, and then the ribbon full is where I'm working right now. So you can easily toggle between those. You can also uh, use this gear icon down here to do that as well. While we're down here, there's a few other things uh, that I was going to go over today. Uh, selection cycling, I'll be showing you how to use that. The quick property setting here as well. Right here, uh, you can toggle a clean screen, which is basically, let me just do that right now. Uh, so if you click that, you'll get a clean workspace, no ribbon, no sidebars, and you're basically just working right in the, uh, the model view or paper space window. To uh, toggle back out of that, you just simply click it again. Uh, so that's, that's kind of nice if you're, you're working on something for a long time in the uh, drawing window and you don't want to have any clutter around. Uh, so the one at the far right is called Quick Property. So if we turn this on, right click and go to settings first, and here I have all objects selected. If we click on an entity, we get this little fly out that allows us to just find out some additional information about it, and then uh, the ability to uh, change the, the layer as well of the selected entity. So that's the quick properties. Selection cycling is uh, when you turn this on, you'll have the ability, let's turn the uh, quick properties off. Uh, you'll have the ability to select an object. This piece of pipe has a line and then there's a solid. As we toggle over it, we can see the things that are selected. Uh, we can pinpoint the exact entity to manipulate. So in this instance, I've selected this line here. And then from here, I can just erase it. So I should say all these uh, these tools down here are also available in the menus up here. Uh, for example, if you go to the settings menu, you have the quick properties here, the selection cycling here. While we're in this uh, settings menu, uh, you can click on the menu. And then here, we can import and export tool palette. So this is a brand new feature as well. So for example, if I wanted to export the uh, hydraulic fluids uh, library, I would click on this and then I would right click and then choose either import or export. If you look up here, this little uh, section here is, is new. You can turn off and on, for example, the menu bar, turn on the scroll bars if you, if you like that. And then as I mentioned in the previous video, uh, this allows you to configure your graphics card so that it performs a little bit better with uh, the CAD engine. There's been things in here that have been uh, modified and added and improved. If we go back up uh, to the uh, top menu bar here, um, right here, here, and here is the undo area. So if we click the middle icon there, it allows us to go back in time. I could jump way, way back and go back to a point and then restore 
my drawing if let's say if I've made a mistake or whatever so this allows you to skip back um, which is nice as well you can go uh, either you undo it or redo it uh, depending on um, where you are in the drawing so finally I wanted to show you just a quick example of some 3d things that are new there are quite a few updates with the 2021 um, these are just a few of them again have a look at my previous video as well so um, if you click on the 3d tools and then look in this section here we have a bunch of uh, convert tools convert to poly mesh convert to mesh and poly mesh is just a more flattened version of a mesh whereas uh, the regular mesh is more triangulated uh, and then this is convert to surface uh, and then the thicken tool and then convert to solid so let me just show you an example of how they might use these tools so if we just draw a simple rectangle and put right here under the vessel and then if I want to convert that into a surface let me shade it first so you can see this better um, so if I click this and then press enter then it turns it into a surface and then if I thicken it and type in a minus thickness to go down uh, that converts it into a solid at this point so we've gone from a regular rectangle to uh, a thickened uh, solid this piece here is a solid um, so if I wanted to convert this into a mesh, I could do that as well. That would uh, smooth this surface out is what would happen. So uh, let me select this option here. And I'll click on the entity. Press enter. And at this point, you can see the smooth surface here. Um, there's also some new options over here where you can even control the smoothness of the, uh, the 3D model. Uh, so that's all for today. If you're not currently subscribed to this channel, uh, feel free to do so and feel free to like this video. We hope you have a great day and we'll see you next time.